Fleetwood Mac has fired longtime band member Lindsay Buckingham, 68, after he had a disagreement with the other members of the band over their upcoming tour, according to Rolling Stone and it's left their fans in shock. News of the firing made its way around the internet after the band's guitarist, Billy Burnett, shared a tweet from April. For that read, breaking news, Lindsay Buckingham is out but I'm not in. He has since deleted the tweet but Lindsay's departure has been confirmed by the outlet and the band released a statement in which they announced that they had two new band members joining them on tour, Mike Campbell and Neil Finn. The tour dates have yet to be released. Here are five things you should know about Lindsay. 1. He joined Fleetwood Mac at the same time as Stevie Nicks in 1974. He was a huge contribution to the band, writing many of her hit songs, including Go Your Own Way, Second Hand News and Tusk. He left the band in 1987 and was replaced by Billy but returned in 1996 for the dance reunion tour. He has remained a part of the band since his return. Two, he was portrayed by Bill Hader in a popular Saturday Night Live sketch. The recurring skit was called What Up With That and was a spoof of a talk show on BET. Lindsay himself made an appearance on the show in May 2011. 3. Although he's developed into a successful guitar player, he never took guitar lessons. He also doesn't read music and started playing on a toy Mickey Mouse guitar when he was a young boy. When he was 13, he started taking an interest in folk music and taught himself how to play the genre before later joining the folk band, the Fritz Rabin Memorial Band, as a bassist and vocalist in 1966. 4. He dated Fleetwood Mac singer Stevie Nicks. The two started out as friends and Lindsay even asked Stevie to join the folk band he was in as a second vocalist. They became romantically involved five years after leaving the band in 1972 and went on to get signed as a musical duo. Their first album, Buckingham Nicks, was released in 1973 and it was what led them to becoming a part of Fleetwood Mac. After Mick Fleetwood heard the album, he invited Lindsay to be a guitarist in the band but Lindsay told him that he was a team with Stevie and wouldn't sign on without her. Mick then agreed to have Stevie join the band as well. 5. In addition to his musical collaborations with bands, he's also worked as a solo artist. The talented musician released six solo albums and a few live albums from 1981 to 2012. He also teamed up with Fleetwood Mac keyboardist Christine McVie to release a duo album in 2017. The album was originally supposed to be Fleetwood Mac's 18th studio album but after major delays with production due to Stevie's solo career, Lindsay and Christine decided to make it their own project. Four of the five members of the band are featured on the album.